Welcome back, brothers. We're coming back at you with another G37 video. We're going to be testing the oil pressure this time. So we're going to use a mechanical gauge off the sensor location to read it, to properly see, because you know what happens. The gallery gaskets go bad and we have issues. We don't need all that. So we're going to test to see what kind of condition we got them in. And let's go to it. Do whatever you want, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So we're gonna take the splash guard down. It's got tens around the outer perimeter and then it has some of these pop clips here that you see. So we can get to the oil pressure sensor. Down, ready. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get up in here. Oil pressure sensor is right here. This boy right here. So it's right next to the oil filter if you guys do your own oil filter changes. So we're gonna pull that out and then manual, put the uh, manual oil pressure gauge on that and repressure that way. So super easy from the plug. You literally just squeeze this tab back here and then pull it off. Sometimes they don't wanna unclip though. So something to help you out is sometimes push them in a little bit and then push it and then they come right off that way. So then uh, there's a special socket for this. You can definitely get them. I'll put them in the description below so you guys can see them. Otherwise you can just get like an open-ended wrench that fits this size or another socket will fit that as well. So I have two styles of this socket. The, this one's like a shorter one, and then this one has a wider back. So, cause sometimes the plug on it, you can't actually fit the socket on because of the plug. So that was the problem we were just having with that other one. So we gotta use this one. Cause the other one only went on about like that far. So we're using this one so it seats in fully and properly. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check these out. They're probably not too much money on Amazon, so. So definitely put something to catch the oil because there will be some coming out because it is an oil passage. So we got that underneath here. He's gonna break her loose. And it's nice, you got a lot of space in here to get <laughs> yeah, everything loose. Because right. sometimes sending units are a real pain to get to and get them out, but luckily on the VQ it's pretty simple to get to. Yep. So now, we're gonna get our mechanical gauge here. She is an oldie but a goodie. She is so old, she gets oil in the gauge now, so really I need a new one. But it comes with a lot of these fittings. If uh, For your oil pressure gauge, you're gonna get one. Make sure you get one that has all the fittings, so if you use it for other cars, because not every one is made the same. So what we're gonna do is match up which, which size the, the threads are and the port, and put that on there. The one thing to keep in mind guys when installing your sensor again or putting that on there These threads are not a standard thread. It's actually called a pipe thread and what it does is it Actually is tapered from the tip to the end. It'll never actually stop it gets tighter and tighter and tighter It'll actually never dead end unless you have the wrong size in it So you just want to get it to where it's really nice tight and snug and then you call it and then that's it So go ahead Corlin install the boy. Have a little faith, baby. <laughs> that feels pretty tight. Yeah, and see now he can't twist anymore, so that means we're good. And if you want a little extra precaution, it may leak a little bit while we're testing, but it's still gonna be good to see what we're getting for oil pressure right now. So as you VQ guys know, what do they do? So the oil gallery gasket goes bad, Nissan cheaped out, put some plastic in there where they shouldn't have. Hmm. They fix it in the later model, so if you have like a Tesla 13 VQ, and onward, you're not gonna have the same issue. But as older VQ boys, we have the potential for it to break. It just depends on if the factory workers follow the torque spec. If they did, you're good. If they didn't, it's gonna grenade itself if those go bad and you don't get it fixed. Yeah. So in order to get a good idea of where your gaskets are, you check your oil pressure. If it's low, then your gaskets are going bad. And if your gas is growing bad, you have a little oil pressure, your engine's gonna grenade itself sooner or later. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is get him up in the car, hop up and start this thing. I'll watch the gauge. He's gotta get the ladder. So he's gonna turn it on and let it idle. And we're gonna stay down here and watch the gauge, see what she reads. Do it! Three, two, one, do it slow! So we're reading 20 at idle. It's actually dropping. We're getting a little leakage. So we're gonna snug up the gasket a little bit. So I'm actually gonna snug that up a little bit. Yeah, because I wasn't expecting this much of a leak and that could be giving us somewhat of a false reading. So I'm gonna snug that up real quick a little bit with a wrench. We're not getting anything on the gauge. So 
where it pretty much stops leaking. Pull this light out so it's not. All right, boys. So we have two scenarios that could be a possibility here. Either my oil-filled gauge that has been around for God knows how long is finally taking a crap, or we are actually having failure of the gasket. Because what I was doing a second ago, ooh, what I was doing a second ago was revving that motor up to, I went up to like 2,500 and it was showing like 40 PSI. So what we're gonna do, since we're not getting the good stuff, we're gonna grab another gauge and try this another day. So we're just gonna cut it right here, get back to you with a new gauge and then reconvene. All right, so we got a new gauge today. So now we don't have one that leaks everywhere. So we're gonna check actual pressure once Cornlin gets up in the car. This one's nice though. This one's from Napa. Got a nice long cord. So I can get all the way away from this thing in case it wants to blow up on me. So, he's gonna let it fly here. I'm ready when you are. Oh, you're not even in there yet. So this is a cold start. It's not warmed up like it was the other day. So we're gonna keep watching it, wait till it warms up a little bit and bring the idle down and see where the PSI goes. You guys didn't see the, uh, the valve that we put it on for. Still working, still firing real nice. Yeah. yeah, check out that video if you guys are curious. It's pretty fun, and it's well worth it. Car's warmed up, just below, just around operating temperature. We could wait a little longer, but we're still sitting around 5, 10 PSI. What's that? What do you, what's the consensus here, brother? It should be at 15. I that's mean, kind of what I thought. It's zero? It's off at zero, so. Well, if it's below 15, that's a warning sign. Well, then we're at the warning. Oh, boy. It's kind of what I figured. I thought it was a little low, too. Yeah. All right, let me hold it like 2K reps. Go ahead. So, I'm going to call it a 2K reps. Ready? Yep. So after today's research, we know two things. We are close to having issues with the valley gasket, and my old gauge doesn't work, so we're throwing that bad boy out. So you're gonna see some future videos. We're definitely gonna be doing all that work just to seal it up because he wants to break records. We can't do that on a questionable engine. So we're gonna go ahead and do that later on. You'll see that in the next one. Let us know if you have any questions. Subscribe, like the video. Tell us what you want to see on his car because he's going to be here for plenty of other things going on. Let us know. So other than that, we will see you on the next one.